All right, we're in here with the 132 dash, uh, the 132 litters. That'll be the two females in the in the litter. Uh, be lots 11 and 12, 132.6 and 132.7. Uh, sired by the Off the Chain Board, which is the Michaels purchase we made there last uh, summer. And um, excited about what this board's going to do. And he's kind of a line bred uh, Olsen, uh, Olsen deal uh, from Blaine and Christy there. Um, extreme about his head and neck and look and design and flexibility and one that we think is going to do a good job. The mom is from Normans. That is a uh, guilt that is an unforgettable. Uh, he is what he is. She's a litter mate to uh, DraftKings at Schaefer's and one only at Laird's. Bought her last spring, and she just had that look to be a pr extremely good sow and uh, had a couple guys try to talk us out of her. I know uh, Jake Hagee was sure interested in her and then the mating after we made it, but uh, decided to uh, decided to keep her, and, and glad we did because we think we've got five really good pigs we're offering here out of this particular litter. Um, we're going to start off with 132-6. Uh, that would be the uh, smaller gilt uh, of the pair, but uh, plenty big enough for a middle of uh, December. We really like this gilt's uh, immaturity that she's got. She's extended, awesome about her head and neck, and still square and mobile on her feet and legs in terms of uh, pastern sets good, uh, hind legs good, and she can get out and flex and reach off both ends. We think that's the feeding kind of, of red gilt. We sure like to feed and, and just keeps getting better every day because she's uh, square, she's got a good skeleton. We think everything ties together extremely good in that gilt, and we think better days are ahead once she powers up, and we know she will uh, out of that particular line. The next one is going to be lot 12, 132-7. She's the powerful one of, of the group, but uh, with that said, she's powerful but still incredibly good about her length of neck and offers some shape and, and, and one that's really level out of her tail set. Uh, mobility's good, uh, pastern set's good, and she comes and goes with enough squareness. Shapes, shape up high is impressive. And, and one for a, a December gilt, she's going to be ready to go early. Still going to have that uh, look and design to be a really good uh, mature 350-pound gilt because uh, elevation up front, pastern set's good, levelness, correctness, and squareness all the way through. We think that gilt's awfully good, and we think uh, uh, big things can happen for this particular one. Really good litter, these 132s. Excited to see what they're going to do in the show ring.